Rorty, I'm enthusiast. Here is the next stage of the Old School SPL Challenge for Old School Car Audio. We're going to design our box that will hold. You'll see the woofers shortly. I won't tell you yet, but uh, we're going to try and design a little box to fit in the back of our cube. As I said before, cheating is essential. Not quite sure how this is all going to end up, but let's have a, um, a look. Old School SPL Challenge, check it out, it's on Facebook. Um, it's an initiative by Derek Williston and Rob at Hi-Fi Vega, so go and check out their YouTube channels. That's 12 Volt Talk, um, Hi-Fi Vega, and Derek Williston, known as Williston Labs now, or oldschoolstereo.com. So here is our design. Let's have a look at what we're gonna do. Now, we're using old school subs. I've decided that I could have used some image dynamic subs. I've got five ID Q10s I was thinking of using on five concept amps. That would have been pretty impressive. But I really want to keep it old school, so, and that's just me. Why not? So we're going to use the Orion XTR3. So have a look at these for those who are unfamiliar. That's what it looks like. They're a dual voice call 12 inch sub. Now I have about 10 of these, I'm only planning on using 8. So we shall use those. Now they're not that deep, I think they're about 143 millimeters deep. Let's have a look. Mounting depth is, yes, 143 millimeters. So that's 5.6 inches for my colleagues in the US who haven't yet come across to the metric system. Never mind, guys. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know I'm kidding, it's all good. All right, so let's get out of that. Let's have a look at the amplifier we're going to use now. <clears throat> this is the manual for an Orion XTR 2250, the beast. Now, that is effectively an Orion Concept 97.3. There is no difference. One has a chrome chassis, the other one has a black chassis. So these amplifiers are stable at four ohm mono, so that's two ohms per channel. So there we go there. The lowest recommended impedance is four ohms bridged mono. So we need a four ohm load to that amp. Now our Orion XTR3's uh, dual voice call. So they're a two ohm or eight ohm. So two ohm in parallel. So if I wire the voice calls in parallel, that'll give me a two ohm load. And I'll put two subs in parallel, which will give me four ohms. So I have, I can use eight. So I'll have four amplifiers and eight subs. Each amplifier running two subs. Each amplifier, according to the manual, zoom in on that is going to give me output power per channel at 12 volts is a thousand watts by one into four ohms so let's call it 800 watts because that's probably what it's going to be at 800 watts these subs the XTR3 dual voice call 12 Power handling, power continuous thermal power handling, the lip, 250 watts or 500 watts peak. So that'll be plenty. One amp on two subs is going to just be perfect. So we'll have plenty of power to run them without overpowering or having the gains cranked up. Now, that looks good. However, don't forget each Concept 97.3 is rated at two watts into one channel at four ohms. So although the 2250, which is just a label, isn't it? It's the engraving on the top of the casing, says a thousand watts by one into four ohms. Our power class, we will sneak into the less than 50 watt power class because we only have two watts. According to the manufacturer, I am only running two watts of power. All right. So let's get into our 
cheap and cheerful box design. So this is just for the old school SPL challenge and nothing else. So we're gonna build a box, put some subs in it, put in the car, get a reading, probably never use the box again. And that's what we do. So let's use Basebox Pro 6, new design. <clears throat> I think we should go a vented box with eight drivers in it and we shall aim for 40 hertz. You want to run those drivers around the 40, 50 hertz, I think not too low because they don't have huge excursion. The X max on these drivers is only <laughs> X max 5.25 mil. That's 0.2 of an inch. X max 5 mil. Wow. Those image dynamic subs are actually looking a lot better. Oh well, we're going to use these. Let's just do it. Okay, so I'm going to load my drivers from the database. So it should have them in here because this program has all the old school subs in it. If we go down to Orion XTR, XTR, XTR 3. Ryan XTR3 12 inch dual voice call. There it is. X Max 5.25 mil. Alright, we're in, we're in business. Loading. Okay, so you should be able to see those. Let's have a look. Configuration. We're going to use 8. We'll just use 8. I was going to use 10, but let's just go with 8. Uh, they will be in standard mechanical configuration. Yes, I'm going to wire them series and parallel because I want 4 ohm load. So there's 2 ohm, 2 ohm, there's 4 ohm. Have them all like that in series. So that should be good. Then we go to parameters. Now I'm going to just calculate the remaining parameters to check that the base box pro settings are correct. There's no red, which is good. And I'll just verify a couple of the QMS 7.65. Yep, 7.65. Total electrical and mechanical properties is 0.3. Yep, 0.3. Excellent, that looks good. So, <coughs> dual voice call, yes wiring is in parallel for the voice calls it says closed or vented that's fine check the dimensions that is correct and we will accept that so on the left it gives me some parameters i'm going to go into the uh, box all right box model is old school spl demo box all right finish MDF and damping no we just want a big bad box right box design okay we want a vented box and I'm going to ask Basebox Pro to suggest it because it does have some good algorithms in here. Suggest and I want high output. I don't necessarily want a flat response. I just want to get a bit of a peak at around 50 hertz, I think. And it is saying I've got an F3 of 60 hertz, FB42. Wow. Now, that's not giving me a very pretty looking box, is it? That's not going to fit. So our dimensions are external. I want my front wall thickness at 25 millimeters. That's an inch for those colleagues of mine in the US. Mr. Brad Newsom and Mark Crowley who always seem to have problems converting millimeters to inches. Uh, sides and bottoms, 18 mil. That's a standard panel. Now I know I've got 1150 mil long go a thousand mil wide and I want to override the box volume which is locked here and I think let's see what that does to the F3 if I make that 500 
Yeah, that's more like it. <clears throat> what about 400? Yeah, that could work. That could work. Let's accept that. Actually, let's go to vents. I want uh, one flush end vent. I want a rectangular. I want Basebox Bro to tell me the best vent area for X Max and also, I mean, that's a reasonably sized vent. That's not too big. I don't want to have lots of port noise, but I also don't want to have a huge vent and those little subs um, over excursion. Skirting? Over excursion. 269, so what's that? It's about a ruler. 300. 300. Height, width, length. Wow. That's just a hole. Hmm, interesting. What about if my height was 100 mil? My length was 200 mil. Oh, too small. Suggested. That's about 100 mil length. 380 by 100. 300 by 200. 50. Doesn't like me at all. Let's go back to suggesting. I might play around with that a bit. Um, I'm just going to leave it there for now. I'm going to play around with that vent size. My box volume displaced by the drivers, yes, because they're flush, and this will calculate that plus my vent. So that, I'm going to put a small brace in there, but it'll be so small it won't really displace any of the volume. I've got a cut list there generated, so let's just accept all that. Let's plot a graph, see what that does. So that's, yeah, that's around 70 hertz. Normalize amplitude, custom amplitude, and I'm going to be giving eight volts of 3,200 watts. That's a bit better. Saying 140 dB, so probably about 146. I'm lucky. Cone displacement, excellent. So looking at around 60 or 70 hertz, it's going to hit its X max. Then at 40, 30, 30 hertz and below, it's going to be tuned pretty high, but there are only small subs. That suits me. If I had an image dynamic sub or something with a large excursion, I'd be tuning it down here at 30 hertz or 25 hertz or something and really trying to get a low frequency peak. That I'm happy with. for this purpose. So, I'm gonna go and play with this vent. But effectively, I've got a parts list here. That should be saying top 18 mil, front 25 mil, back and sides 18 mil, gives me my vent. Excellent. Okay, we're in business. Let's go down and cut some wood. Looks good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And um, don't forget, check out the old school SPL challenger. I'm going to pull that up on Facebook so you can see it. Um, let's go to Facebook. Old school SPL challenge. There we go. That's on the leaderboard. Oh, look at these numbers, 150 dB. Matthew Stark. Man, you are cheating bad. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that. 
All right, so head over to the Old School SPL Challenge. Sign up there, guys. Um, and let's go and build ourselves a box. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.